Welcome back. So, another unboxing here. Um, first tools to be unboxed 2019. Um, almost say 2009 there. Um, so, the shows you. So, these tools are from Tyzak, and Jackson. Um, just gonna look into it here. Slide the items out and it's well taped up. I'm gonna have to get a big proper knife for unboxing videos, I think. Some really sword or something. I'm stop my knife with these. Flexible bed, rounded edges like the center of that. Um, easy to replace and clean. So we can replace the blades. Nice. That's something interesting. Let's get a, a close up look at this. Get out of the packet and drop the hook. Right, so classic. Let's have a wee quick look at that hook. Where did that come from? That came from there. I think you can click them in and hook them up. Um, so, unfortunately, I think we've got a wee bit of damage on the delivery. You can see there. But let's see. That may help this video a little bit too. So instead of metal, I have um, a Spear and Jackson one and I have a metal grip. This one's a plastic and it's it's very very comfortable. Definitely has a comfortable handle on that. So How would you replace the end? Oh, look at this. How easy is this for replacing? So, let's find out if I can replace that with a, an old bent one. Very, very quick and easy, that guess. That's, that's impressive. Good job on that. I'm not sure there's any other ones any spatulas out there at the minute that have a replaceable blade and um, speed skin but again they only have a metal tip they don't have a full metal edge like this spatula and um, as you see in some of my videos I'm able to actually straighten sand cement with these things too so we're gonna keep going here hopefully we've got no more damage going here So, what have we got for this one? We've got thirty nine inch again, easily re replaceable blade, rounded edges. Let's turn off everything there too. Let's get it out. Let's have 
look. I didn't actually get, get this a look at the, these corners, but that's not damaged whatsoever, thankfully. I think that one was at the top, so it must have took a, a hit. Nice. Keep them handy, guys. Blade protectors. So that one looks good to me. Again, that would be a handy to replace blade. How we look at them corners? It's slight taper off. I'm not sure the camera notices that, but it tapers off and it's rounded there. So he's definitely feeling nice, comfortable. I like the fact that it's not metal for the net. I know that there are a few are using them. Metal heads are getting a lot colder than plastic. So, but it's it's comfortable. It feels nice and comfortable. It feels light. Obviously when there's plaster on it, if you're coming up and you're taking a wee bit of plaster off, it will get heavier. Um, but I'm definitely impressed with these easily changed blades. Um, so, that's the end. Here. So, we've got the three sizes. Uh, we got the 800 millimeter one here, 31 inch. Again, happy days. This one's not actually bent, and um, so. What else we got is some backup blades, which I'm going to change straight away now and give you guys the demo on that, the rundown on that. Obviously the blades, you need to keep them somewhere safe in your phone as well. Um, again. The blades are fine. So, quick demo and a rundown on um, it's so easily to do, that's unbelievable. It's so easily to do. So if you ever did get a damaged blade, guys, you don't have to buy the whole tool again. You can see it's just slightly kinked. It's actually kinked the right way, so if I could get that wee nick out straightened, I could use that again. Um, but believe it or not, I might have a video coming up where this might help me out. But a spring steel. They are spring steel, aren't they? Um, I'm pretty sure it'll be spring steel. Um, it might be stainless. Hopefully it's stainless so it won't rust. Um, if it's anything like the, the metal handle one I have, it's going to be a good quality of steel anyway. Very, very little bit of paint on it. Go ahead and get this cracked open. That plastic's tight that I played. To fit part number, it gives you a part number as well. So, if you were um, unfortunate enough to break your blade, you can check, type in the part numbers and get it. I'm sure it's no problem to all of us kids now on the internet. Um, so, how easy will it be to replace? Um, there seems to be two B clips there as well. And I think they clip to the back a bit. Yeah. So they actually do clip in them two wee slats and then just push the back in. I'll have to add that part in. I think I close it too early. 
So let's go again. And so make sure I'm doing this right. In, in, lock it down. Yeah, that's better. So I think I just locked it too early. And there's a new blade on that one. So from unusable to usable in seconds. Here's the other thing, guys. Um, easily clean as well. People be worried about stuff getting in, in round there. Sand and cement and stuff and throwing your blade off. How easy would that be now? Just take it out, give that a rinse, give it a rinse in behind. Rinse all round. Let's back to you. Just do that one again, make sure I'm doing it right. That's it. It's pretty simple. Straightforward. Nice and flexible blades. But again, you can't actually sand and cement with these as well. And um, if you get the right angle, it'll still help you straighten your sand and cement. But that's it for now, guys. The Tezak Spatulas. And I hope you're looking forward to more unboxings throughout the year. And the latest videos, make sure and be subscribed and hit the notification button to always be notified for the new, new, new upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.